Good day, my wonderful students. I'm so happy to be here. And I know you are all happy to see me too. It's going to be an interesting topic again today. Please ensure you are staying safe and you are keeping safe. Maintain regular washing of your hands and please sanitize them with an alcohol base and sanitizer. I am Hayewole Alaba Adepeju. Our topic for today will be the fifth week topic for this term. And you know, the past four weeks have been different topics. We have talked about pregnancy. We have talked about implication of pregnancy. We have talked about abstinence and how you can maintain your body till you are married. And today, <clears throat> we shall be talking about simple machine. Simple machine is the fifth week topic. And I would like to say the final topic for this term. After this class, you'll be seeing revision exercises because we are going to end the teaching for today. And the subheading sub of today's topic is types and uses of simple machine. But before we forge ahead, let's see the learning objective of today's class. The learning objective of today's class says that at the end of this lesson, students should be able to define simple machine. You must be able to mention the types of sim simple machine we have and also state the uses of this simple machine. What is a simple machine? A machine, first of all, is a mechanical structure that uses power to apply forces and control movement to perform an intended action. It is said to be a piece of equipment which uses electricity or in order to do a particular kind of work. This brings us to what a simple machine is. A simple machine is a tool, a device, or an object with few moving parts that help us to do our work. It is also a device or any device use a force applied at a point called effort to overcome another force called load to another point. It is a mechanical device that changes the direction or magnitude of a force. Let's see some pictures of what we refer to as simple machine. You can see the pulley. This is the lever. The wheel and axle can be seen in our bicycles. The bicycles we ride at home. This is a wedge, is a type of simple machine. Inclined plane can be seen in wheelbarrow, and this is a screw. We have different pictures that signifies or that shows us simple machines. We have different types of simple machine, like I said earlier. Even from our picture representation, you see that we have different types of simple machine. The first one we are going to be talking about is the lever. The lever is simply a plank or a rich beam that is free to rotate on a pivot. It is a long piece of wood or metal used for lifting or opening something by somebody placing one end of it under an object and pushing down on the other end. E.g. is a wheelbarrow and a seesaw. You see, when you carry any load with a, a, a wheelbarrow, it signifies a lever. And also our seesaw. I could remember years back in our school year, we used to have a seesaw. It's a plank placed on a pivot. One person will be sitting at the point and another person will be sitting at the extreme end. Then we go into swing. That's in one will go up, another person will go down, that person will go up, down again, and the other person will come up. Another type of pulley of a simple machine is what we know to be the pulley. The pulley is a wheel or set of wheels over which a rope or chain is pulled in order to lift or lower an object. As the wheel rotates, the cord moves in either direction. That is, you can see that one in cargo or construction pulley. 
where a building is set up or in the use of an elevator. Another one is inclined plane or wedge, a flat surface that is slanted or inclined. So it can help move objects across distance. It is also an arrangement of flat objects in slanting position to act as a track for the movement of load, e.g. shovels, scissors, and screw driver we use in our various home. The fourth one is the wheel and axle. This is another type of lever which is used to lift load from any place between the position of the wheel and the axle. The wheel and axle turning the axle around causing movement. This can be seen in screwdriver, our turn knob, and egg beater. The last one is the screw. A screw is a mechanism that converts rotational to linear motion and a torque, that is rotational force to linear force. We have different types or different uses of simple machine. The following are the uses of simple machine. Why do we use simple machine? We use simple machine because it makes our work faster. Like you want to write. Instead of writing and writing and sweating, you can as well use your computer. Your computer too is a simple machine that can make your work go faster. It always makes our work very easy. You want to go to the market to get yourself some snacks or food stuff for the house. Instead of trekking, you can get your hands on your bicycle and quickly dash to the supermarket and get what you need. It makes it easier and faster. It also makes work to be less stressful. We all know that, that our simple machine helps our work to be less stressful. And finally, simple machine makes our work to be very neat. Neat at all time. It makes our work to be fast. It makes our work to be easy, less stressful, and very neat. Please, I would like you to go to the school website to read more on this topic. There's a comprehensive note on the school website for you to copy and read. And please, I beg you, ensure you do the assignment that follows. And you can also read more on this topic by using our recommended textbook, Basic Science for Junior Secondary School, Book 3, by G.O. Omotsuyole. I love you all, and I want to tell you that I miss you. But before we have ourselves back in the school, please ensure you keep safe at all times. Wash your hands regularly, like I said earlier on, sanitize them, maintain social distancing, and please get away from crowded places and ensure you use your facial mask. I love you, and I would like to tell you that I've so much missed you all. Bye, I'll see you in our next class.